up y'all welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel hey girl hey make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell and if you are not already girl make sure you go over to instagram and twitter and follow me at the hair life so you guys i know i've been gone for a little minute did y'all miss me because i missed y'all and i'm back today to show you guys how to do a color fix so this hair is for a client it's not for me but i definitely want to take you guys through the process um, of fixing hair color that didn't come out exactly how you wanted it so this hair was colored by someone else previously this is the color and the color was really pretty it just was not what the client was going for so i'm gonna flash a picture of what the client wanted this is the picture right here really pretty vibrant red color and then here is the after so i think i got that color spot on so i'm gonna show you guys do not throw your bundles away don't give them away if this happens to you sis i got you okay so let's get right into it all right so i'm just showing you guys what the hair looks like the hair was still really healthy I'm assuming that it probably had only been bleached previously like one time i knew that the hair could take another bleaching process so i have three bundles in a closure 18, 16, and 14 inch bundles. And the closure might have been 14 or 12 inches. I'm not really sure. Um, but this is what the hair looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and take some BW2 powder with some 40 volume developer. And I'm going to mix this up into a nice loose consistency. Whenever you're bleaching hair versus like your frontal like the knots bleaching your knots on your frontals and your closures you want to make sure that it is very very loose because you want to make sure that it's getting evenly distributed across all the hair strands so you do not have any patchiness um because you know when you do your frontals and closures you need it thicker than a snicker sis but no not when you're doing your bundles you want to make sure it's nice and loose so all i'm going to do is start at the ends of the hair and I'm gonna work my way up to the tracks of the hair, so the roots of the hair. And I'm gonna make sure that I have bleach on every single strand of hair. Um, also, when you guys are doing this, please be sure to open up the tracks and make sure that every single strand of hair has bleach on it. I can't stress that enough because you do not want any patches that are not bleached. So after all of the hair is drenched in bleach, you can go ahead and wrap it up in some foil and let that process for about 45 minutes. I would not suggest doing it for any longer than that. Um, and make sure that you are checking it periodically to make sure everything is going smoothly. I did not show you guys me doing this process on all three bundles just because it was very repetitive and I did the exact same thing to all three bundles. So just follow these steps and you'll be good to go. So moving on to the closure, I'm starting at the ends once again, working my way up to the roots of the hair. I'm just going to take small sections and make sure that I'm getting all the way down to the roots or the knots of the hair to make sure everything is nice and coated with bleach. And again, wrap that in foil, let that process for about 45 minutes. And you guys, by the time I was done doing um, my closure, I checked on my 18 inch bundle, which I did that one first. And it was already pretty much finished. I think I left it on for about five more minutes before I rinsed it out. And this is what it looks like. Y'all tell me this does not look like a good old piece of crab. Like, oh my God. 
that's probably real fat of me but like when i saw this i'm like oh my god this looks exactly like some crab meat so i just rinsed that out with some conditioner i rinsed it out and co-washed it with some conditioner and this is what we have here to fix this we're going to be using the watercolor method i have this tub full of hot water and I'm using Adore Crimson and Adore Truly Red. All right, so I'm going to start putting in the color. I put in Crimson first and then I put in Truly Red. And when you're doing this, just please, please, please make sure that you are mixing that color into the water thoroughly. You wanna make sure that you mix it up really good. You don't want any color just sitting in there because you will not get the color payoff that you want. Um, and since I don't waste no color around here, I make sure I dip that bottle in there and get every little piece of color out of that bottle. So um, I just like to take a paper towel, dip it in the mixture and make sure that it's the color that I was going for. The first time I did that, it was not. So I went ahead and added in the rest of the two bottles and it was perfect. I took all three bundles in the closure and dipped them in all at the same time, you guys. Um, I did not spray the lace with free spray because I just moved and I don't have my free spray over here just yet. So you want to make sure that you do spray it, but this the lace did not um, get stained or anything. So uh, I picked it up after like maybe 30 seconds and you guys can see what the color is already looking like. But you do want to make sure that you open up your bundles and make sure that you have the color everywhere. You don't want any blondish, orangish, whatever that color was we had before. You don't want any of that peeking through. You wanna make sure all the hair is covered and completely saturated with this color. So after I did that process, I just let all of the hair sit in the water for about maybe five minutes just to make sure everything was nice and soaked up. And this is what we have. So I just like to wring the hair out and I run it through water until it runs clear. And then I just like to co-wash it with either some Aussie Moist or Tresemme, um, what is it, Moisture Rich Conditioner? I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Um, the closure came out a little bit darker than the bundles, but it's fine. Like once you get it installed, it would just give it a little bit more dimension. And y'all, I was obsessed with this hair color. I may have to do this for myself. If y'all try this hair color out, please let me know down below. But this hair was popping, sis. Like, let me know down below if y'all are feeling this color. So sorry I do not have a like after installation picture because like I said, it wasn't for me. But let me know what you guys think down below. Alright you guys, so here's the final product after I blew the hair dry. You guys, I was so obsessed with this color. Please let me know if you guys plan on trying this. But here is a side-by-side -side before and after of the before and the after after I fixed it. And here is the picture of the inspiration. So, you know, not to toot my own horn, sis, but I, I did that. I really did that. So, let me know what you guys think down below. Again, thank you so much for watching. Share this video, like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, all that good stuff. And I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye.